Hello there, everybody. Sabata92, aka Nightmare, and my audio level should be relatively back to normal. Because apparently, as soon as I acquired the power of Red Rider, arguably the most powerful demon I have ever gotten so far, everything decided to screw up. My. I don't know what the hell happened. Where my microphone just. Everything. OBS. I. I don't know. I sincerely have no idea what the hell happened, but it happened. And now I'm paranoid about pretty much every future recording that I'm doing with OBS right now. Anyway, more importantly, we solved the issue with the Ishigami. Uh, Jack Frost had a hell of a vacation, and we've acquired one of the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Other than that, let's go forward, shall we? God, am I going to be popping up in here again? Warning. Flashing lights, everybody. Warning of epileptic seizures. Or loading issues, because that's also an option. You could also do that, maybe. That is indeed an option. Oh, goody, we're back here again. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's me again. A student wearing a Shinado mask is standing before Raido. You who play the role of Raido and witness this spectacle. I must tell you, it is extremely painful for me, but I must make you aware of the cruel truth. Soon, you and the other people will become witnesses. There will come a day when this world is overcome by misfortune. You will bear witness to this. Okay. If you have witnessed this spectacle, then the day of misfortune is now inescapable. But I do not want you to despair. The future past that day of misfortune. I want you to take a look at the sorrowful face I wear. You mean mine? Or the mask? The sorrow. It is the feelings of those who despair for the future after the day of misfortune. The only one who can save the people from the sorrow is the one who assumes the name of Raido. The one witnessing this spectacle. Only you. Ye. Yeah. Therefore, I want to entrust you with hope. The words I am about to impart. These are my actions to overcome misfortune by borrowing the forms of those you are familiar with. Uh huh. A white haired man wearing a Shinado mask is staying before Rido. You who play the role of Rido and witness this spectacle. I would prefer it if you listen to this theory. The prevailing theory is to equate discontent with misfortune, yet to submit wholly to the flow of luck. Okay. That comes about as a result of one realizing that to resist is a meaningless act. My hope is that you come to see the wisdom of the theory involving the acceptance of misfortune. When the day of misfortune comes, the theory of your future will be tested. You should accept it, do you understand? I... 
I kind of don't want to accept the day of misfortune, but I understand what you're saying. Good. You are wise. Misfortune is the way of this world. Who resist Encoding overloaded. Are you goddamn kidding me? OBS, get your shit in the game. Stop interrupting me! <sighs> I'm thinking about getting a new recording software for my computer. I've been I've been thinking about looking into Camtasia. Might give that one a try. But goddamn! Misfortune is the way of this world. To resist it, it is, in theory, to destroy your own limited life. The worst part about it is that it's not necessarily wrong, because the world kind of needs misfortune. If we are constantly living in a state of pure, unadulterated decadence, where it's nothing but peacetime and pure, unadulterated happiness, sure, it sounds like one of the most greatest things possible in the world. However, if there is no suffering, then people will grow to be stuck in that decadence. They would feel no desire to strive to become better or to be even happier than one is. Misfortune in, I'm, okay, I'm not trying to like say that suffering is bad or good. I'm trying to say that depending on how you take it, suffering can be used as a motivational factor to improve one's own life or to just try to push past it. You can, it's either you A, wallow in that suffering, or try to, you know, um, make it past it. You, you really shouldn't be coming to me for life advice. I'm, I'm having a hard time kind of getting my thoughts here together on this. I, I, I'm, you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm an idiot. Misfortune is the closest and worst natural disaster in this world. You who play the role of Raido have heard the words of your associates. Some accept misfortune, others resist. The two paths are utterly opposite one another, but both are actions to take hold of the future. Sobata Atami, on the coming day of misfortune, I want you to be the hope that will those who despair in the future will badly need. In themselves, your actions to take hold of your future will be a form of hope for the people. Sobata Tami, do not forget this. But perhaps all those who have seen this spectacle must listen so that you will not repeat his error. His? Hmm... Either action involving taking hold of the future is equally noble. Neither is innately good nor evil. However, to avoid your actions dictating the futures of others, remember, you are responsible for your actions. How's this music? Like, this is different. I'm so used to, like, the Persona 4S aspect of the music, where I'm kind of like, uh, I can kind of get to this. Oh, this is supposed to be menacing. This feels so out of place, and it fills me with, like, this sensation of dread. Oh, that's clever! Do you hear that? It was, it was, it was there. The sound of wings flapping, like a locust. And with the fact that locusts are such an important feature in this story, the fact that they included that in the music, that was clever. I'm sorry, I, I have an appreciation for clever music and, you know, stylistic stuff. Acting without responsibility is destruction. Act responsibly, Sobata Atami. I... Uh, I mean, I intend to. Raido heard Narumi's voice from afar. I'm sorry, but we only handle special cases. That's just how it is. Yes, goodbye now. What's going on out there? I'm getting a boatload of inquiries today. How so? <sighs> Morning, Raido. Did I wake you up? 
You can sleep in a little if you feel like it. There's nothing urgent on our plate. Uh, for the time being. Oh, that reminds me. About that Sugigata case. It's already been, what, five days since it finished up? Oh, God. Mm. Oh, hey, Ty. Excuse me. Afternoon, Rado. Goto. Oh, and Narumi, I suppose. What the hell? Narumi, where's the coffee in this joint? My throat's dry as a whistle. I'm currently drinking coffee. Hey, do you ever stop and think that maybe it's a little harsh to tack me onto the end like that? And I told you before, this isn't the cafe. It's the Narumi Detective Agency. D. Tech. Tiv. Gosh, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Relax, Narumi. I come bearing gifts. Yo, lucky I stopped by Sakudo Cho my way to do some investigating. Feast your eyes. Shortcake from the dessert parlor. Hmm. What's wrong, Narumi? You look glum. Don't you like cake? Oh, no, it's not that. It just puts me in mind of this girl who wanted to become a patissier. Oh, God, Akane. Excuse me, Ty. Uh, make yourself at home. Coffee's on. Say, Rado? Who is Narumi talking about just now? Um... Takane. Rado explained the circumstances of the investigation to Tai. You feed me a line? Poor Akane. She gave up her dream of being a patissier for the sake of her home village. And she was sacrificed? A sacrificial ritual. We're talking about the same Sukigata village, right? I can't believe it. I think that still goes on in this day and age, and people still go along with it willingly. Uh, look, Rado, Narumi might have said those things, but there's no way he's not worried. There's no way he's not worried about sick about Akane inside. Uh, I shouldn't have brought the shortcake, should I? Hey, don't worry about it, Ty. You, you didn't under you didn't know. It's it's fine. You didn't know. No, no, no. It it's not your fault. Uh, it's okay, Rado. I'm glad you're thinking of me, but I've known Narumi for a long time. I know what he's like, and knowing him the way I do, I'm sure he's all bottled up inside with grief. And that's so like him. He's too kind. Sorry, but I, I should be going. Tell Narumi I said hi. See you, Rado. Uh Jeez Louise, my phone's been ringing off the hook. I can't even count how many we've had today, and every last one of them's a missing persons case. Missing person? Is this a result of the luck locusts? The ones that had their luck stolen? Huh? Wasn't Ty just here? Did she go home already? Oh, right. Oh, thank goodness you're still here. You too, Narumi. Uh, it's been like three seconds. Listen up. It's really cloudy outside, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky when I first came over. Well, crying out loud, what is going on today? First my gift goes wrong, and now the weather... Craps, I just remembered. My laundry's still on the little clothesline. I've all the rotten luck. That dame's like a typhoon. Oh, she is. Oh, God damn it, again? Another inquiry? Guess I shouldn't complain if business is booming. All right, guess I could, I could use a break. Come on, right, let's head to the roof. Ah, screw you, phone. Do you ever take that cape off? No, not really. It's kind of comfy. Also, it's a cape. <laughs> Fair point. Whew. Well, what do you know? Ty was right on the money. Those guys are gloomier than me without my morning coffee. You and me too, bro. 
doing me too. It's enough to ruin a guy's whole day. I can't work under these conditions. You're with me, right, Rido? No man can get fired about his job under a sky like this. Eh, you're right. I didn't expect such a blunt answer from you. Well, just for taking that attitude, I'm saddling you with all of my work today. I was agreeing with you, jackass. Nah, just joshing. I'm as beat as you are today. Oh god, I, you're a good guy, Nermi. You're fun. Still, it's awful quiet. At that time, the Fukoshi brought those luck locusts into the capital, and all the commotion it caused. It seems so long ago now. Hmm. Hmm? What the deuce is that? What is it? What is it, Goto? Do I have something on my face? What are you staring at now, kitty? The sky? You're looking at the sky, Goto. God damn it, I wish you could understand the word I was saying. What's going on? Oh, that's a problem. What is... That? Blood red. The day of misfor- Oh! Okay! Guess we're doing that now. Cool! Hey, that thing. That red thing up in the sky. What's it doing up there? What is that? I don't know. Say, Raido, doesn't this remind you of a certain incident in Ishigami Cho? Remember that? The way those capillaries inside Ishigami got jostled and caused that series of earthquakes. That's not the only fishy thing that's happened lately. They've all been major disasters, too. What's happening to our capital? Oh. Mm. I'm, I, I'm a little hungry. This is an urgent mission. If I don't get some food into the stomach of mine, I'll be a disaster. Lunchtime, Rido. I've got a hank for a lot of yas. Cooney rice. Really? Ugh. Now that the idea's in my head, I really want some. Two tawari I eat. Two Care to repeat that? No! The curry rice! Okay. So we're heading to Terraria. Terraria. We're heading to Terraria. Now people can stop talking to me about trying to get me to play that game. Rado and Nermi enjoyed a plate of Tawaria's blazingly spicy curry rice. Okay. Just my luck. Why'd the owner pick today of all days to call in my tab? I wish I'd never remembered their delicious curry rice. Try the luck. Hey, fancy meeting you two here. Who? Huh? Oh, be serious. It really isn't my day, is it? You! Long time no see, Detective Kazama. What's the formula? Just you and me, right, Narumi? Oh, yeah. Right. And righto. Looking good as always. Reminds me of when I was your age. We get it, Kazama. You have a favor to ask. What is it? All oh, right, You guys aren't busy, are you? I was hoping you could do me a solid, being such great detectives and all. Right. And of course, we'll be doing it as fine, upstanding citizens. Which means you're not paying us. Take it easy there, will ya? Just think of it as doing your part for a brighter future in the capital. <laughs> well, you can get the details from the officers wandering around here. I've already given them the go-ahead for you, Narumi. I think. You think? Well, I'm just getting out the night shift, so I'm headed home. I'll leave the rest in your O's, so capable hands. God oh, damn it. That's right, laugh it up. He doesn't even care that we've got more pressing Matt concerns here. <sighs> Although, it's kind of interesting that Detective Kazama's involved. The police shouldn't, wouldn't be poking around unless there's been a crime. And they sent Detective Kazama. From the Homicide Division. Righto. Think you can look into this? We are acting on Kazama's say-so, after all. 
Let's go hit up the officers around here and get the full scoop. We want the ones in white, uh, wearing those fancy hats. Let's ask them together, shall we? All right. The ones in white wearing fancy hats. Well, I will be the judge of whether their hat is fancy or... Oh. What'd you find, buddy? Anti-mine. Ah, you're finally making up for all the lost work you had after your vacation. That's fine, Jack Frost. That's all good. Honestly, with all the work that you put in, you definitely deserve yourself a nice little break. Oh, you. Who are you? We got time to deal with students. Move it, kid. Uh, excuse me, didn't Detective Kazama say anything to you? He asked us to assist. I don't know what you're talking about. You better not be wasting my time. Oh, you're a Tansu. Using a detective's name, too? I'll uh, arrest you for interfering with police business. Damn that Kazama. Looks like he forgot to mention us to this bull. Let's skip the hassle for now and see what the other officers have to say. That ass. Or maybe I really did. Oh, what the? There's an item down here. I hear you, cat. Dindon. Did I miss that item this entire time? If I did, I'm a. Feel free to laugh at me. All right, ignore you because you're you're a jerk off. Let's see, I think I remember seeing a detective near the or an, an investigator near the um near me detective agency. However, I want to look through these back alleys because you never know if there's somebody. Oh, there isn't. Okay. I ain't talking to that cat. That cat's just a little mean to me. You. Hey, you're my assistant at the Nerd Detective Age, see? That's a Kazama telling me about you. You're assisting us with the case, right? Yes. What's this case you're talking about? Detective Kazama didn't fill you in? We're investigating what looks like a serial killing. It's happening all over the cattle. Does it have to do with the missing persons? All we've got to go on are these strange wood fragments left behind in every scene. Wood fragments? That's what I said. I've got one loaned from the lab boys, if you want to look at it. <gasps> the locust cages. Rhino, isn't that... Uh, mind if I see that for a second. Narumi takes the fragments and pieces them together. Does it have the Tento crest? Son of a... Thought so. Hey, how'd you do that? This isn't the first time I put this particular puzzle together. Hey, Rido, this is one of those insect cages that the 8th Fukoshi clan uses, isn't it? The cages that hold the luck locusts. Yeah. Not those things again. And they found fragments of the cages at each of the murder scenes. Hey, would you look at that? Who'd have thought those splitters were from an insect cage? I'll pass the Lord along to the other guys. Thanks for your help, Detective. This is not good. I thought the Tsukigana business was over and done with. We better take a harder look into the connection between these killings and the Fukoshi. Yeah. All right, Raido. Time to roll up our sleeves and get investigating. Let's ask all the officers about what happened. We want the ones in white wearing those fancy hats. Let's ask them together, shall we? Yeah. All right. Uh, there was one near the detective agency, I think. Hello. Oh, it was you two. You figured out the insect cage thing, right? I just heard. Still investigating the serial killings. I'll tell you everything I know. What do you need? Oi, right. it's a serial killing case. With bodies popping up all over the cattle. Very bad business. We're not sure what exactly the killer's doing, but whatever it is. It's leaving those poor saps ripped to shreds, and after they're killed... Oh. Anything else? Torn apart. 
There is wood fragments. Uh, they are part of an insect cage. Damn, that means all the fragments we found at the crime scenes must be the same thing. The type of wood and the markings on them, all the same. Anything else? Uh, no, that, that's enough, I think so. All right, then. Uh, the suspect is still at large. Be careful. Yeah, you be careful too, kid. Or, actually, wait, how old is he compared to me? Oh, what'd you find, Jack Frost? Edison! Thank you, buddy. You definitely earned yourself a he-ward, my good friend. You definitely put in the work. Well, then hurt the log. Alright. I'm gonna go up here real quick, see if there's any other, uh... I... Nope, does not look like there is. Okay. Alright. Um, let's see. Hey there, good sir. How you doing over here? The police! I, I thought I'd finally become a violinist! What, what are you looking at? There's nothing to see here. Scram! Are you sure about that? Lilum, could you be a deer and read his mind for me? We left the back, we broke up the street case at the music store. I thought you were the best job, but it was wake. You're poor me for loot, now I'm under investigation by the police. Good. You stole the violin things. You need to be freaking held accountable for your actions, you criminal. Cats all over the place, good lord. Okay. Oh, oh shit, what'd you find, Lil? Ox Bizarre! Delightful. Hey, now are you gonna talk to me? Uh oh, my boy told me about you guys. You're the one. Oh, wait. You're, you're the ones who pieced together the insect cage, right? Yeah? So you want to know about serial killings, right? Well, I'll help you as much as I can. What do you want to know? Uh, the same thing, I guess? There's been a string of serial killings around the capital. Pretty nasty ones, too. Seems like they mostly happened between yesterday and around noon today. Wait. It didn't happen over time. It literally just happened between t yesterday and today. That is a short set. That is a very short span of time. So far, we got three confirmed stiffs in our hands. Anything else? Three dead. Those splinters you put together were found insane. They came from, <sighs> let's see, uh, Baden Cho, Yinza Cho, and Harumi Cho. Okay, um, should probably write those down so that way I know where to go. Okay, so, Manin Cho? Ginza and Harumi. Looks like those are gonna be in the next place I'm gonna be uh, investigating. Until they found a stiff, those wood splitters weren't far off. Anything else? Oh, the crime scene, I guess. I don't have much to tell you. That insect cage we just talked about is the only real lead. Anything else? Okay, that's about it. Thanks. All right. Be careful. The suspect's still out there. Okay. You don't know here. Well, the big wig screwed up at work. I got bumped in the apartment just at six. Oh, never mind. Same thing. I'm caught to go said Dr. Earthquakes. Yeah, you're the same guy that I talked to earlier. All right. Wait, Rado, we're not done asking around here yet. One thing at a time. Let's focus on what's happening in Sukudo Channel. We want the officers in white wing the. Oh. I thought I was. Okay. I thought I was done, but apparently that is not the case. Damn you, cat! I'm coming for you, kitty cat! You can't escape me! Oh, shit, the cat escaped me. Okay, so there's another officer that I somehow missed talking to. I 
guys gotta go figure out where this officer is. Although, maybe I can gather more information by asking strictly about the crime scene. Anything you want to add? Go back there. You can see what you do. Directly on what I know. No need. Uh, the crime scene. They're from the men posted at the other crime scenes. Again, reports some kind of flying monsters of H at H1. It sounds silly, but in Bannon Show, Gains at Show, I Show. Someone in each district saw this flying thing. There must be at least a greater truth to it. Anything else? A flying monster? There were witnesses at the scene in Manicho, Ginzicho, and Hiramicho who swore to it, but... A flying monster, really? We're looking into it, of course, but... There's probably a few lashes who got spooked by their own shadows. Yeah, yes. And uh, that's it. So there's something like... It's like a little large, so be careful. Large flying creatures, huh? Sounds eerily similar to the other bugs that we deal with. Also, what the hell are you doing? Hey there, right out! You see the papers? A serial killing? Scary stuff! Well, the police could tell you more, I could. You've seen the officers around town, right? Folks in white uniforms, imagining acts. Not only just less districts, so there should be two left. Boy, you'd ask the two left to go chat about the murders. Yeah, alright. So, I already asked him about the flying monsters, so maybe if I go back to this guy over here, he'll have additional info concerning said flying monster. That seems to be the process of eliminating. As I run directly into a pole like a complete jackass, he might have some more information for me then. What'd you find, Lola? Oxby's old. I can just walk around. This is the greatest way to farm items, I guess. You got anything new you want to tell me? Who are they? Looking at a circuit, right? Uh, flying monster. Huh? The flying. What? It's probably some sass's idea of a funny story. Though there might not be any monsters out today, but... Don't you think the sky looks strange? That big red thing up there, what is that? Mm. Anything else? No, that's it. Alright. Careful, the suspect's still out there. Hey, Rido. We've got a lot of good leads and a few points of interest. Stop by the agency when you have a free moment, Rido. I'll talk all this over with you. All right, let's do it. Shortcut for the win. First off, that was some good work you did asking around Sakuno Cho. I could have done better. Now then, I know we just got back to the office, but all those serial killings around the capital. I want to sit down and pour over the situation for a while. I think the way to do that is to have an investigational meeting. How about it? Sounds good to me, don't it, buddy? All right, I'll go pour myself some coffee and we can get started. I kind of like this part of the game. It's actually not that bad. What? No! No! We're out of coffee beans! I can't believe this! What awful luck! No! Now then, it's not quite the same without the tang of fresh roasted coffee in the air, but... We might as well get this started. Let's do it, bro. Ugh. It seems there's a murder mystery in the capital, right under our noses. A serial killing. So far, there's three confirmed crime scenes. Yep. One in Manincho, one in Ginzacho, and one in... You know what the last one was, right-o? Manincho, Ginzacho, and, uh, Harumicho. Right, that's the police shaman Seamus told us. Seamus? Dark Seamus. So far, there's been one murder each at Manincho, Ginzacho, and Harumicho. Here's a map pinpointing where each victim was found. Okay. Looking at this, I can see it covers the whole map north to south. Our perpetrator's pretty mobile. Now, so far, nothing's out of the ordinary for your average psycho killer, but then... We notice a strange pattern to all the murders so far. <sighs> At each crime scene, there was a piece of wood left behind. When we put them together, we found out they were a part of something we weren't all too familiar with. The insect cages. You know what that is, right? 
the insect nip, the insect repellent. That's right, the Fukoshi were known for their ability to repel insects. It's the cage. That's right. All the murder scenes had pieces of an insect cage nearby. Aha! What? This is it. Today's my day, Rido. <laughs> Even without coffee to get the neurons flying, I realize just what we need to do, what we need to know. We've all seen we've seen someone disappear before, leaving only an insect cage fragments, haven't we? At Manancho. Remember him? Uh Tatsumi. Yep, it was Tatsumi. Mr. Lucky. That bastard. Now, these new murders were the remnants of insect cages were left behind. If they're anything like Tatsumi's case. All the victims had bugs in those cages. Luck locusts again. Oh god, yep. Some of the testimony from the witnesses at the crime scenes was a little peculiar, wasn't it? Everyone we talked to said they saw something fly away just after the murder. What did they see again? Uh, A soulless battleship. No, that was the first game. A rocket, still a first game. A monster. There you go. Yeah, that was it. I don't know if these flying monsters have anything to do with the luck locusts, but... Whatever's causing this string of murders in the capital, it worries me. Yeah. First, Tatsumi vanished mysteriously, and now we've got serial killings of similar circumstances. I'll grant that there's a wide gap between disappeared and dead, but all the same, if luck locusts are involved, the bulls might as well go home now. Hmm. Murders in the capital. Looks like we're on the case again. Yep. That about does it, I think. Meeting adjourned. Thanks, Rido. It's all good. And here we thought we were through with the Fukoshi and Luck Locusts. Looks like we still have a little ways to go. Seems the threat of fate connecting the capital, the Sugigata village hasn't been completely cut. Rido, I have to be honest. I'm sensing King Abaddon's hand in these murders. You too, huh? It's just like Narumi said before, the people despaired over their bad luck, that becomes a key. Calling King Abaddon from the bottomless pit. The store of the fortune of the capital. The luck to look as stole is in the Pajitron in Tsukigata village. But the capital's bad luck hasn't run out yet. The premonition of King Abaddon can still come true. Maybe I'm fretting over nothing, but you should keep that possibility in mind. When you investigate these murders, don't rule out King Abaddon. I'll do my part by writing it down in the detective notebook. Go to serial killings the subject in the notebook. Under the subject heading of serial killings, go to add an entry about, about the killings. Uh, Rhino! Go to? Why the long faces? Let's take a moment to catch up with us and then head out. We've got some crime scenes to inspect. Yeah. One in Manincho, one in Ginzacho, and one in Harumicho. If we head to Harumicho, we'll need to use the train. Harumicho can now be reached on the map. Sweet. First things first, though. I'm going to the, uh, roof. But what a coincidence. You come up here to relax, too, unless, unfortunately, we're not able to relax because of that big blotch in the sky. That's not something on my mind. Won't be declared by line sometimes, too. What's on your mind, buddy? Guess I might as well spill it. You see, I was thinking about how the Tento clan is organized. The insects that Tento give to the 8th Fukoshi clan are what the Fukoshi use in their spells. It's a little like the way Devil Summons use demons, she can control different types of things, plus the same general idea. Might be possible that the Tento Fukus and old clans go back to a common ancestor, though I don't have anything to back it up, but the Wild Adrims don't just put so much luck in it. I was hoping for something different, but fine, I guess. Damn it, Goto! I uh, nasty business, all of it. I didn't realize he'd have actually more dialogue. I fucked up on that. Okay, Aquamarine, two Garnets, and one Opal. Uh, Hiranya. I don't have a Hiranya. Where the hell would I even gather bugs? No, a bonus question. How would I? How would I gather a bug? 
Unless I have to actually start the mission and then I'll be allowed to. Oh, right, I have an espresso. Okay. So I have to just randomly get it. Do I not have any more? Do I have a stag beetle? I did not have a stag beetle. God damn it. Well, can't blame the guy for trying. Was that by my wish? Girl A. Do I have a Haranya? I not have a Haranya. Damn it. Again, you can't blame me for trying, at least. All right. We've got some investigations to do. However, there is one thing that I want to do first. We're gonna go stop by our favorite Konoya. What the fuck do you want, you son of a bitch? I just, yo, oh, god, yeah, you're gonna sell me stuff again, aren't ya? Yes, I must. I don't have anything to sell you. Why the fuck are you in my shop? Um, I'm gonna go talk to Victor then. Jerk. Hello? Okay. Making sure. Okay. All right, so, Mizuki, you are definitely a gentleman out of the entirety of all of what we see here. Oh, that explains why Raha Naga wouldn't join me the first time. He's level 43. Three slash. Idiot. Mega ice damage to all... St Ooh, that's not right. Very interesting, but unfortunately not what I wish for. Interesting fusing that with... Uh... <coughs> Using the Eros with Meizuki creates Gozuki. So we kind of devolves, unfortunately. Kind of a shame, honestly. Oh well. Bye, Victor. Thanks for nothing. All right, first place. I'm gonna head to Men and Cho first. I think we'll leave Harumi Cho for last. I am still neutral, Pat, baby! Alright, uh. Uh oh. Did I get it wrong? Oh, right. Men and Show is part of Fukugawa Show, that's right. Sorry. Sometimes I forget that. Hey, there's Fukugawa Show. This should be Men and Show, right? Yeah, here it is. Sometimes I forget that they're all in different sections here. Hello! It's a Ms. Lucky, but that was it. He smelled like an amateur. Never not a savvy gambler. No. <sighs> Man in show. This is one of the murder scenes too, right? Satake must be pretty steamed if someone was killed on his own turf. By the way, where's the crime scene? Is it further into town? I don't know. Let's go look around then. There were policemen around this area that was blocking off some pathways. Oh, strange clouds form. Looks like it's gonna rain. I'm concerned about that all red thing in the sky, but Ray doesn't even mention it. It's supposed to be a good day for umbrellas, huh? I better get Ray. Hopefully, calm. Hello. Originally, I was assigned to watch over Fukugawa Chu. But Satsuki, the Kanto, Kagugai, and goes over there, getting with everybody, blah, blah. So they don't need any police assistance. I got chased out and had to come to Man and Show. You have to be a real expert like Detective Kazama to negotiate with a man like Satake. Ah, Satake is cool. Hi, Mr. and Kitty. I'm helping my dad right now. Oh, hi, Kenta. He wants me to tell people that the insects are at Sakura Dayama. The insects are at Sakura Dayama? Sakura Dayama is that place near Harumi Chow, right? I wish I could go see the insects, but I have to help my dad. Sakura Dayama. Okay. Where's the crime scene? Oh, hi, Ryder Pie. Mr. Corbinet tells me you're a detective. I have a favor to ask. I sent you a case file. This physics are under common eye to the detective agency. I hope we can respond to our latest request. <laughs> oh. Sure. Oh, right. Speaking of stuff, I actually forgot to read this stuff. I'm sorry. We got some stuff here to read. Ishigami. It's a giant tower that rose from the ground at Ishigami-cho. 
go steal a huge catfish. Tai, who's up to her folklore, says the Ishigami steal the catfish like sticking on the eel to the eye. But in fact, the Ishigami was driven into a dragon vein to prevent Quake's from the cap. The overall drop in luck has allowed a fiend to make its home in the tunnel inside the Ishigami. The fiend, an avatar of bad luck, seems to be affecting the sacred stone at the bottom of the tunnel. And according to the Ishigami Inari, that's why the Ishigami is poking up above ground again. Right. Alright. Detective Kazama has asked us to help with the string of murders rocking the capital. So far we've figured out that each crime scene has a piece of the insect cages used to store luck locusts. Apart from that, here's what we know about serial killings. 1. There are three victims so far, each killed the same way, in Manicho, Ginzicho, and Tarumicho. 2. Each victim was dismembered post-mortem. Glad I have a strong stomach. 3. Witnesses at each crime scene reported seeing a flying monster dismembered after they were killed. Good god, man. Again, we just gotta go figure out where the hell the crime scene is. Hey, can you tell us anything? There's a secret, okay? Just between you and me. But first, you have to promise not to tell anyone. You promise? Okay. I saw that detective. Kazama, was it? He went into Daikoku... Daikokuyo. Daikokuyo is Mr. Satake's personal bathhouse, right? Kazama went in there looking for Satake, and they were both naked. Oh, oh no. Talking about me being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I'm sorry, I missed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. You deviant little pervert. Natsumi disappeared from town, but I keep hearing his name. Maybe that's because... Oh, never mind. If you keep talking like this, I'll have the cops in the Kanto Hagaragumi all over me. Oh god, where the hell is this frickin... Well, it's pretty... You can see something at the bottom of the well. Inspect and light up. Maybe... Maybe Agathion can get through there. If he's got inspect and light up. And it will reach the bottom. What demon can get to the bottom? I'm... Hmm. Alright. Alright, Angel. Can you get down there? You have Scout, it's probably not going to work, but let's see if you can do that. You got wings. So, here's another one to reach the bottom. All right, you know what? We know exactly who to send down. Yo, uh, Ryder, um, one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, can you get down there and check something for me, please? Hey, okay. It is kind of sad then. Oh, there's an officer over there. Is this where the crime scene is? Oh, it's you. I heard about you. You're the one who discovered the insect cage, right? You came to check the man and show crime scene, huh? What information did you need? That's about the murder. Not only in man and show, but also in Ginjicho and Arumicho. The victims have one of these insect cages. There's rumors of strange trades going on here in Man and Cho. These insects are being traded for obscene amounts of money. The police are investigating it. Uh, these underground trades and the murders are somehow linked. That's why Detective Kazama is organizing a fierce old investigation. Uh-huh. That doesn't really tell me where the crime scene is, though. So I'll just keep looking around. Eventually, I'll find them. Hello. Kaya Capital feels gloomy with the serial killings and all. Now the men are all on edge. It's hard to find a spot to work. Of course, with our special skills, we can cheer any man right off. Are you feeling down at all? <laughs> uh, no, I, I I do appreciate it, but um, I, I must respectfully decline. I wish you good in your endeavors, good sir. Or whatever you identify as. Hey, if you're going to gamble, use your own money. 
borrowing money or using your parents' money, just asking for trouble. Says the man whose name is Hypocrite. You think you're being real cheeky, don't you? He thinks he's being real clever. Mr. Tatsumi, no one's seen or heard from him since then. But, well, I kind of like it this way. I bet feeling about him. Oh, I bet you did. It's a good idea. Right, I can't go through. This we ain't got a fire put out of the red light district. There's a murder in Manancho. There's some bad luck going around here, if you ask me. Is this stuff only happening in Senjuku? Yeah, probably not. Oh, right, I gotta go through more of the town to get to Sakura Dayama. Actually, I may as well also uh, stop by and say hi to Sato. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Oh, is that you right here? So, you know the uh, uh, red light district is turned down for the fire. That's back now. Dale's red blood men have been waiting for us here. He's got the boss permission to go in, even though you're underage. Well, I'll keep it clean, okay? Let's talk to the girls. No need to get carried away. Thank you, guys. Well, the bird just paid us a visit. And okay, his name is Kazama from inside. The guy's asking about a boss to spread some crazy room for. And they usually try to sell like Sora, uh, eye sauce. A second they need up, bam! Then they come into our side, right? A bunch of hypocrites. Are you drunk? Hey there, Kuzanoa. I could use a guy like you in the missing persons case. Case files. Can I just talk to you though? Flatfoot, name of Kazama, stop by to ask me a favor. He'll drop your name while he was at it. Says he looks after you. If you're really mixed up on this, you might want to give this a listen. Sure, tell me. I don't know what the exact the message means, but he asked me to give it to you anyway, you ghosts. Insects are gathering at Sakura Dayama. The Kanto Hagurigumi ain't no cherry, but I can't hurt to have the bulls there, swan. Ain't no friends of ours, but I gotta think ahead now. Sakura Dayama seems to be the most common thing right now. Got it. Come along, Noodle Dog. We must continue our investigation. We may not be. Oh my god, I just realized we may not be able to investigate everything in this time. I heard from the boys in the Kanto Hakura Kumi. The serial killer is talking to people at one of these insect cages. I need this cage! It has my luck locust! With a luck locust, I'll be safe, right? I have to be. I just have to. No, you're definitely not going to be. Because somebody needs all that luck. And I just saw that guy pop into existence. Let's see. I don't know, I'll just keep looking around. For that, at least. Hmm. I wish I had like a mini map that I could use, but oh well. And I've been thinking lately like, about how I never see eye to eye with my boss. I've been mainly about how unlucky I am for so long, and I'm getting sick of me. I must wish I had been murdered by that circuit. Do not wish death upon yourself! Hi, doggo. A well groomed dog is staring at you as it wags its tail. Wait, Inugami, you are also dog, and you speak with dog. Please tell me you are able to speak with dog. The dog does not notice you. You can probably swipe some fur. Take some fur. What? Inugami obtained an Twan's fur? What? Uh, I'm so... What? What? Wait, no. <gasps> Artith? Oh my god. Artith, I want you to be I'm I'm being dead serious. I want to be a dog. I'm not entirely sure, but fine.
Rhino whimpered, cloying. Seems to be working. I am dog. Behold my cuteness. Embrace. For I am dog item. Scoring sticks? I don't even know what the hell that is, but I'm a goddamn dog! Why do I get to transform into a dog? That's amazing! Oh my god, that is amazing! Guardsman says, Hey, kiddo, good to see you. A little anxious, huh? Oh, you're working! Ah, oh, well, you seem very dedicated. Either way, go on through. Thank you. The red light district send you. Um. Okay, why are we here? Let's see what comes in. Man, choke in, choke in, how to go. And here we are in Fukugawa Cho. Right, are you visiting the red light district while on the job? <sighs> Even after I get old, I think I should sit close by you. I could learn something. <laughs> Oh my god, help! I detect the customer who works the police that looks as if would be more like us, but Sally, please forget it. No! Inugami! I command you, my noodle dog! Read her mind! Oh. Detective on the circuit in case Kazama, I think. He's a real go guy, so he takes a little too far. I'm at the last customer of mine is working under him now. He was great about how unlucky he was to be on Kazama's squad. In my. Uh, Mr. Raido? It is you. I haven't seen you in a while. It's me, Shizu. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. Hi, Shizu. I've been so busy recently. How about you? Uh, I've been busy too. Wow, I didn't expect to run into Okay, Raido explained the investigation so far to Shizu. How you doing, Shizu? Huh? You met with Councilman Narita? Oh, uh, I just remembered something, that's all. What did you remember, Shizu? This is far enough. I'll see you again. Narita stuffed several bills into Shizu's inner pocket. Um, Mr. Narita, sir, these... These are farm clothes, aren't they? I've seen villagers wear them out in the country. You always ask me to wear these, but, um, do I have to? Is this all you want? Just to rest on my lap? Nothing more. It relaxes me, idiot. Makiko would quit. D excuse me? Makiko? <laughs> no need to fret about that. Who's I ask? Pay extra, not to the madam either, but direct to you. Better for you, isn't it? Akiko. Come see you again, same time next week. Akiko. It's good to see you again. I'm taking a break right now. I've been so busy recently, how about you? Uh, not that busy? I see. The Nerva Detective Agency does specialize in strange cases after all. If you were more open minded about accepting cases, I think some of your skills could do well. Oh, I accept cases. Don't worry about it. It's all good. Behold! Muscle drink. Probably one of the only things I could use to help get me out of a, a jam. <sighs> Specific status ailments. I wonder what that was all about. I'm assuming that must pertain to a side quest or something. All right, let's get out of here. I'm sorry about the detour, buddy. Uh, that probably just came across as incredibly weird. Interestingly, though, I actually got some story information. Sort of. But I'm still kind of... Wait. I wonder what other people I can have my Queen of Gami go get some fur Oh wait, 
perfect opportunity. Huh. Can I disguise myself as one of the uh, Garugami? Seems humans are foreign to Inugami. Okay. Well, so much for that, I guess. We should go check out the crime scenes first, Rido. Unless you're here for some other reason. Nah. No, I'm definitely not here for any ulterior motives or anything like that. Not at all. For some reason, I just can't figure out how to access the crime scene over here in Manicho. Or even, no, more correctly, where the hell the crime scene is in the first place. That seems to be where I'm having some issues here, trying to figure out where exactly the crime scene is. Satsuki must be pretty if someone was killed on his own turf. By the way, where's that crime scene? Is it further into town? I... don't know. Wait. No, not here. Again, I just remember that there were policemen around here. And then there's this police officer facing that way, which immediately makes me think that the crime scene's somewhere around here. Wait a minute! Wait a minute, I just got an idea! What if I disguise myself as one of the cross-dressers? Which, wouldn't it make more sense if I actually just went to gather the cross-dressers and notice you? <gasps> I can! I can take one of, I can take some of her hair. Kaminari's hair. I can disguise myself as a cross-dresser. Don't say dull, Inugami. It's finally time. It's time for Soma to become a cross-dresser. Ardith, I need you to take this very seriously. I want you to dress me up like a woman. <laughs> Behold! <laughs> Hello there! Rado showed off his best side. Rado's mysterious dance continues. Rado's mech. My I can recover my magnetite by hitting on people? <laughs> the room smells of danger. Oh, I'm made for danger now! Behold my beauty's form! It's a shady room, and there is a man intently focused on putting on his lipstick. Ooh, I bet. Hello! I'm going to hit on you! Listen to its endless life story. Oh, I am so sorry. I'm a crossdresser now! Ooh! Is there. <laughs> I can't fucking take this seriously. I can't. Hello there! Mysterious dance continues. I discovered how I can restore my magnetite, and this is extremely bizarre. Where the hell is this crime scene? I want to go get some danger. Ooh. I don't do anything, not in this hall. I... That was fucking... Oh my god, I don't know how to make... Tamu is trying to demonstrate its expertise. Go ahead. Angel recovered full HP thanks to Tamlin's magnificent acupuncture techniques. Well, ain't that just a coinky dink? What a very bizarre little show that he just put on there. Hello. Nope, you're just gonna state the same things all over again. I am unfortunately seemingly not able to find out where the hell this... Wait. If it's jammed, then why not just... Break the door down. Huh. 
Can you do me a favor, Mizuki? Door will not open. Mizuki pulled at the door with all its might, but it wouldn't budge. Mizuki despaired at its own helplessness. What? He has the power to use force! Do I have to have a demon with a very specific strength stat? Wait, what stat is Mizuki's strength? 17. Oh, interesting. My strongest physically is Tam is Arden. So maybe I can have him try to open the door? <laughs> he is stronger strength, physical strength wise. Huh. No, 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 show me what you got. I said, show me what you got. Don't report back to me, you dingus. Oh, goodness gracious. This entire thing is just me wandering around aimlessly. But it wouldn't budge. God bless it. Hello. Look at the other person with teary eyes. It had no effect. How dare you ignore dog. The well is pretty deep. I see something at the bottom of the well. Don't do anything because it's not gonna help me. Okay, so I can't do much any... I, I, I can't really do anything. Hello. Rao tried to spit fire, but he failed. Aww. I don't think you've got anything to tell me, dude. I admit mean, this is never the nicest neighborhood in town, but I never thought I'd, there'd be a murder here. Oh, have you heard? There's officers all over the capital now. At Sukudo Cho, Gina Cho, Harumi Cho, even Sakura Dayama. Is that really the only information that I can glean about this? I just have to go to Sakura Dayama? Okay. In that case, I'm heading back to headquarters. Because unfortunately, I've kind of run out of time right now with this investigation. This is gonna take me some time here. Alright. So, not so much battling, but more or less just investigations. Okay. On top of that, I can transform into a dog and a crossdresser. Without context, that sounds weird. Thank you all very much for watching. I need to figure out what the hell I need to do next, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Fuck!